Hey, what is going on today, guys? So I am here with a package that I just got, like literally like just got, and I was hoping it would come today. It was supposed to come tomorrow, but yeah, which would have been Monday for me, but this will be Tuesday for you guys. So yeah, um, let's open this box up and see what's inside. All right, so All right, so that's done. So as you can see, they are from Braille and they are Braille shoes. Yeah, these are the, I believe, the burgundy ones, burgundy and white. And uh, yeah, I am going to take these for a skate around Old Town Arvada, see how they how they do. I believe these are the version threes of these shoes after prototyping and whatnot. Um, definitely an uh, interesting choice to put these in plastic, individual plastic bags. But yeah, definitely, definitely an interesting choice. So, uh, yeah, other than that, let's get to skating and see how these, how these shoes do. So actually really quick before I start skating, um, there are no half sizes of these shoes. So these are a nine. I'm typically a nine and a half. So I went a little smaller because I think I got some before some black ones and that these ran a little big. So I might want to think about that. These do run slightly big to cover for the half sizes, but I'd prefer there be a half size option, so I just thought I'd say that before I started skating. But yeah, they have several colors <clears throat> that I'll throw up on the screen here. And uh, yeah, so other than that, yeah, so on that, I'll throw the all the sizes and or not the sizes, all the colors on the screen. But yeah, no half sizes. And um, yeah, so and let's see. So the insole is the same color as the sh outside of the shoe, or uh, like as this. And these are a very tough material. And they have the little Braille logo right there. Um, this is kind of what the tread looks like. There's definitely a nice choice, but um, yeah, then they got the little Braille in the middle there. But um, yeah, other than that, now let's get to skating. So the first thing I noticed when I started skating these shoes down this hill was that my, I believe it was my right foot that seemed to have a lot more cushion than the left foot, which kind of bothered me as I was skating. And definitely once the shoes broke in, it definitely felt a lot more nicer to my feet once the insole definitely broke in. But past that, I think that's the only real major issue that I found with these shoes so far. And definitely the soles felt a little weird. They do feel quite a bit softer than other skate shoes. They're comparable to just the style vans that you can buy at the mall or at any locally known department store that sells vans. But it shouldn't be an issue because the outsole is definitely significantly thicker than most other shoes, which that probably will balance out how much I wear out these shoes throughout the course of these shoes' life span. So definitely take that into consideration if you're going to be foot breaking a lot, that these shoes' outsole is very soft but also very thick. And definitely is going to help you grip the board on some fresh grip tape a lot better. That I found on fresher grip tape, these shoes do like to grip a lot more. And they do have a nice double stitch on the outside of the shoe that definitely holds these shoes together quite well. And I'm 
very familiar with the styling. I believe that this is the same or similar styling to Nike Strakowski's. And I do like the Nike Strakowski's. They just feel a lot thinner than this shoe, which isn't a problem for me. But I do feel like these shoes are definitely a lot wider than a lot of Nike shoes that I've worn. Almost they're equivocal to a width sort of Vans. So if you have a wider foot, kind of like me, it's definitely going to benefit you more to buy these as opposed to some of Nike shoes that I've found. And if you have any Nike shoes that are relatively wide and good for skating, then I definitely would love to hear about it in the comments below. But for the most part, these shoes are relatively comfortable. The insole problem that I found can be easily replaced with some aftermarket insoles that you can find at a skate shop or your local Walmart or just in general any footwear store that definitely sells insoles. So you can take the insoles out of the shoes and put in some different ones if the insole bothers you too much. But as opposed to the actual comfort of the insole, the insole definitely feels very comfortable compared to other shoes that are skate shoes because typically even higher end skate shoes like Vans, Nikes, Adidas definitely do not carry the same amount of cushion in their shoes as these shoes do. So definitely these shoes do have a lot more support in the shoes from the factory as opposed to something like Vans that's going to have a very thin sole that you're going to have to put a insole on top of these soles in order to get the good feeling out of them. But yeah, I would say the if they could just adjust the padding for both shoes to make them feel the same, then that definitely would help these shoes out a lot. Because like I said in the beginning of the video, that these shoes definitely felt very uneven when I started skating them. But as they broke in, they definitely felt a lot better as... I started skating them and breaking them in and definitely even though the outsoles do feel soft i did end up foot breaking a couple of times and they did seem to hold up really really well so maybe these are a lot harder than i'm giving them credit for but definitely i feel like this is a shoe built or manufactured by skaters and is definitely built with skating in mind so definitely is a good solid recommendation and I will go over these shoes a little bit more at the end of the video. Other than that, see you guys at the end of the video.
Okay, so um, I'll lower you guys just to get, you get to there. All right, so these kind of remind me of the Nike's Tchaikovsky's just a little bit, and uh, yet they're a little bit wider, which is kind of something I wish Nike would have done. But uh, definitely, am liking the thick, the thicker laces on these. Um, but yeah, I don't know. But as I was skating, I felt like this right foot definitely had the insole was a little out of whack, but definitely nothing that you can't fix with an aftermarket insole. And um, yeah, so other than that, the grip feels very um, nice and soft. So definitely very, very grippy as far as, you know, kicking around on pavement and stuff. Um, definitely like how the, you know, this part of the outsole doesn't come down over the rest of the outsole. So uh, definitely a very nice touch. But uh, other than that, um, yeah, definitely just an overall better made pair of shoes than a lot of other shoes that I felt. Um, definitely a lot better than Nike. I feel like, and I've personally just never had a good experience with Nike, so if you have had a better experience with Nike, please put it in the comments below what you liked about them. And if you do like the Nike Tchaikovsky's, I like, I would recommend getting a pair of these. They're just a little bit wider in the insole, to me feels a little more comfortable. But uh, other than that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.